Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Mimi here, and today we're completing part six of our Vintage Bloom scrapbook album. Um, I'm super excited to get back on track with the YouTube videos. As always, it's always a struggle for me. Something's always happening, something's always going on. Um, so I apologize, but I have finished all of the videos for the three albums that we're working on. So now I just need to edit and upload them. So I will be posting videos every single day from here on out. I have it ready to go. So I cannot screw this up this time. It's already scheduled. Um, so yeah, there will be videos every single day, not just Monday, Wednesday, and Friday or whatever I had. There will be videos every day. So make sure you subscribe so that you can catch them when they're posted. Um, but yeah, about this scrapbook layout, um, I cut down a 12 by 12 scrapbook paper, obviously. And so that's why the border is only on two sides. So to kind of balance that out, I used this um, pink journaling card that says in full bloom with the gold accents and everything to kind of weigh down the other side so it didn't look so lopsided and feel so um, heavy versus light on the other side. Um, so this is actually the first page that I really added the hot pink to. I know in the last one with the little bikes it had hot pink as well, but um, this is when I decided that like, okay, hot pink is going to be a color in this album, not just like a little, you know, um, kind of guest debut. This is going to be a color. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is pretty exciting to get done. This picture is of one of us babies, me or Jesse, one of us twins, I guess. Um, as babies and that's my dad and that is on his mom's front porch so I think that's pretty cute and pretty fun um, that's my favorite thing about this scrapbook album was going through all of the old photos that we have and choosing which ones I wanted to kind of um, present and put into the albums and I have um, now turned these into digital pages as well so I can print these out as many times as I want and make a thousand page scrapbook album if I choose so that's pretty exciting and the best part is that you can too in the link down below you can head over to my shop and you can get um, any set of digital downloads or printable scrapbooks in a digital download format um, any set of three for free if you sign up for emails and emails are not going to be annoying just to let you know when things launch a weekly YouTube update things like that um, but I certainly won't be pestering you in your inbox or anything like that so if you're interested in trying out these printable scrapbook pages head over to the link in my bio, or really down below I guess it is, and um, sign up for emails. Uh, you can also buy the full album if you love it, and I think the free pages is a great way to test it out. Um, but this pretty much finishes up this album. I decided to switch out the yellow kite for a gray one. I think it just kind of matched better since there wasn't a lot of yellow on the page. Um, but yeah, that kind of finishes it up. I'm really happy with how this turned out because I gotta say I was kind of nervous to start it, but that's kind of why I put this in the front of the um, line because I wanted to get it done and over with but it wasn't as bad as I thought it might come out to be so yeah if um, this inspires you to create something make sure you tag me I'm on Facebook Instagram uh, Pinterest TikTok, all that at Mimi we made you can find me um, and yeah just make sure you give me a tag and if you want to upload any of your printable scrapbook pages to my website there's also a link um, to do that as well so I hope you enjoyed this video I will see you guys in the next one bye